I'm here at the gardens at UBC and I'm waiting for Leonard, uh, the doctor who is looking after the honeybees. And he's doing all this research on the honeybees and what's happening with climate change and with the deaths of the honeybees around the world. Hi Leonard, how are you? Nice to meet you. My name is Leonard Foster. I'm a professor here at the University of British Columbia and my lab studies bees in several different uh, aspects. We study how bees respond to diseases and pests about the bees and, and uh, basically human society dying. So this is called a drone bee and uh, they don't sting and uh, I call him Wilbur. It's, uh, Wilbur the bee. It was either that or Bumble, Bumble the bee. Today we're going to be talking about honeybees. It's, there's three kinds of bees in a colony. There's uh, the drones, which are the males, and the queens and workers, which are the females. The drones are big and dumb, and all they really do is mate with queens. They have no other purpose in lucky life. Lucky bee? They can't, lucky uh, well, lucky, yeah, but when they mate, they die. Uh, so they only get one shot. The reality is that bees are responsible for a lot of our food and they happen to be responsible for some of the most nutritious foods that we eat. Uh, all, the, all the ground that is currently used to produce those types of fruits and vegetables could be used to grow other things. So it's not like humans are going to die out if we didn't have bees, but they certainly help make our life more interesting and our, um, our diet more interesting. So have you found that there are a lot of bees dying around the world? So the, the statistics are uh, in focus right now all of, in all countries essentially and in Canada and the United States we, we have been losing about one third, 30 to 35 percent of our bees every winter. The U.S. has sort of changed how they count things now and don't just talk about the winter but talk about how many bees are lost throughout the whole year and for the last year in the states that number was somewhere around 40 percent of all bee colonies. The main cause is a, a parasitic mite called Varroa. It feeds on the hemolymph for the blood of bees. It also causes or transmits vector viruses uh, between bees. So in the same way that mosquitoes transmit malaria for example, the Varroa mite transmits a series of viruses that are also very harmful to bees. There's, I'd say, universal agreement that viruses or that Varroa are the, the single biggest problem facing bees right now. There's also other diseases that affect bees. In Canada in particular, our climate's not so friendly to bees, so we lose bees because it's too cold or too wet in the case of the Lower Mainland. There's other reasons as well, and, and a big one of those, or one that's getting a lot of attention anyway, is agricultural chemicals, in particular the uh, systemic classes of insecticides. These are the neonicotinoids, which a lot of people will be familiar with. The reality is there's actually a fairly small fraction of bee losses that are directly attributed to oh, those. That one just kissed There's me. a lot of attention being paid to them right now. So us as society, what can we do to help um, with the bees not dying? It's a tough, very tough question to answer. In a, in a utopian type of society, uh, one would do away with vast tracts of monoculture crops, like hundreds of thousands of hectares planted to a single crop. Uh, and the reason for that is uh, bees, like humans, need a varied diet. And so if all they're eating is almond pollen, for example, uh, the whole summer, they're, they're not going to be hel uh, healthy. It would be the same as if you ate steak uh, for every meal of every day for many months on end. This has to be one of the craziest things I have done. And I want to say thank you so much, Leonard and Heather, for making this happen. Yes, be aware, bees are dying around the world. We need to help out to stop this. And if it wasn't for people like Leonard, you know, for one thing, they wouldn't even know there were bees dying. I forgot to tell them that I'm deathly allergic to bee stings. <laughs> <laughs> That's not funny. Okay. Ready? She's mm -hmm. going to give it a shake so that they all land on the cardboard. Oh, oh, that wasn't scary at all. <laughs>